We already saw how to find a profit-maximizing quantity when you are given a graph with dollars on the vertical axis. Quantity on the horizontal axis, for example, this was total revenue and this was total cost, and profit's the gap between TR and TC. That's maximized approximately here. So Q star, the optimal or profit-maximizing quantity, would be there. But we often don't work in the dollars versus quantity space. We often work in the space of dollars per bushel on the vertical axis versus quantity. And the big graph that I've drawn in the middle of the screen has dollars per bushel on the vertical axis. So that's, and, and quantity on horizontal axis. So that's the context in which we usually have to answer the question, how do you find the optimal quantity? Well, we've now figured out two rules that are written on the right about how to find the optimal quantity. The rules are these. Over here. You tentatively set m pi star equal to zero, which means setting mr equals mc, and then you check the shutdown rule, which is comparing price to average variable cost. If price is bigger than average variable cost, you go for it, you produce, and otherwise you shut down. So what I've drawn are the curves consistent with short run type 2. By curves, I mean marginal cost, average total cost, and average variable cost, the black lines in the middle graph. So I could do short run type 1, but here I'm going to do short run type 2. The purple lines are different levels of price that I want to talk about. At any one time, there's only one price. So I'm going to start with the lowest price. I'll call it P sub A. It, and I want to ask the question, if that's the price, what is Q star? What is the profit maximizing quantity that this firm is going to produce? Now, because it's a competitive firm, price average revenue and marginal revenue are all going to be the same. So I have all the information now I need. You ignore all the other purple lines. Just look at the one labeled PA, which is a average revenue A and marginal revenue A. Apply the rules on the right. Set MR equals MC. MR C is MRA, so it's this line. MC is this line. They don't cross. So you can't set MR equals MC. What do you do? Well, let's go ahead and check the shutdown rule anyway. To check the shutdown rule, we compare price to average variable cost. So let's do that. Price is here. Average variable cost is here. A price is always below average variable cost. So the shutdown rule fails for all quantity. And therefore, the conclusion is that, that price, at this price, which is a pretty low price, the firm is going to shut down. And what that means is that quantity is equal to zero. So I'm going to clean the graph up a little bit. And then I put a red dot at Q equals zero at that price level, at the PA price level, because what we've concluded is that if price is PA, then quantity is equal to zero. All right, so that's what happens at a price of PA. What about at a different price? So suppose price is PB. Since it's a competitive firm, that's the same as average revenue and the same as margin revenue. Let's see what happens here. Tentatively, we set marginal profit star equal to zero, which means MR equals MC. Here's MR. Here's MC. There is a place where they meet. And so that's going to be the candidate point. 
I'll erase the highlighters now and and draw a circle around this candidate sorry this candidate point the candidate point is there so at the candidate point which is here that this quantity I want to check the shutdown rule so compare price to average variable cost well price is here wrong color and average variable cost at this candidate point is here that fails price is less than average variable cost so this candidate point fails and what we want to do is shut down so I'll mark a red circle where the firm actually wants to go and the the black circle can be ignored or erased now let's do a new price level PC which is ARC and MRC tentatively set m pi star equals 0 which means MR equals MC so M R equals MC where? Let's see. Here's MR. Here's MC. So there are two places where MR equals MC. Here and here. So those are the candidate points that we're going to zero in on. So let's zero in on those points. They satisfy MR equals MC. Do they satisfy the shutdown rule? So let's look at the left-hand point. We need to compare price to average variable cost. Price is here. Price is going to be here for both of them. And average variable cost is that curve. So you can see that the first point, this point here, fails the test because price is less than average variable cost. And the second point, which is here, also fails the test because price is less than average variable cost. So both of these candidate points fail the test, and the answer is you don't go to either one of them, you shut down. In other words, Q equals zero. So let me clean up the graph a bit. And for this price level, we again get Q equals zero. This is getting a little bit boring. Let's go to price level PD. And now I'm not going to bother writing equals ARD equals MCD, because whenever you have a competitive firm, price, average revenue, and margin revenue is the same. So for now on, I'm just going to keep that in my head. All right, so set MR equals MC. Well, M MR is, is equal to price. So here's the MR curve. Here's the MC curve. And you see that MR equals MC in two places here and here so those are going to be our candidate points at the candidate points which are, are here and here we need to look at the shutdown rule it's so comparing price with average variable cost at the first candidate point, you fail the shutdown rule because price is here and average variable cost is here. And you see that at that point, price is, at, in other words, at, at this point here, price is below average variable cost. So the first point fails. How about the second point? The 
second point, price is equal to average variable cost. So the shutdown rule holds with equality. What do you do then? Well, what that means is that the firm is indifferent between producing and shutting down. It can produce, it can shut down, it doesn't care either way. And so we're going to have two red circles at this price level. We're going to have the shutdown red circle, and we're going to have this point as a red circle because the firm is indifferent at that point between shutting down and producing producing at at this point and so at that price it'll choose one or the other of those it doesn't matter which one so we either stop I mean we yeah we either shut down there or or we produce next price level P what am I, uh, PE. Again, that's equal to MRE, that's equal to ACE. I'm not going to bother writing it down. M star equals zero, so MR equals MC. MR is at the price line. You know where MC is. So where do they equal? They equal here and here. So those are the two candidates. Look at the left hand candidate. Does it pass the shutdown rule? Where's price? Where's average variable cost? Right. The average variable cost curve is is this one. So you can see it's above the price line of this left hand candidate. So this left hand candidate fails the shutdown rule because average variable cost is bigger than price and the price is below average variable cost so that's a failure that's not going to work the second point price is above average variable cost see uh, the price is PE I ha I've drawn the black circle that's above AVC so that passes the shutdown rule so this point is okay and so that point is going to get a red dot the other point is just going to get erased. Okay, so we got a red dot there. Next price level. PF. All right, again, that's equal to ARF and it's equal to MRF. Check MR equals MC. MR is here, MC is here, so there's only one intersection, that intersection is here. Okay, so there's only one candidate point, that makes things simpler. Here it is. At that candidate point, check the shutdown rule. Compare price to average variable cost. Average variable cost is here. Price is here. At the candidate point, which is at this point, price is bigger than average variable cost. So it passes the shutdown rule. So that black circle is going to get a red dot, that is where the firm is going to want to produce. Let me clean things up. And that's where the firm one more line. PG. Where is MR equals MC? MR a, a MR is here. MC is here. So MR equals MC at just one place, which is the candidate. Drawing the candidate in. We need to check the shutdown rule, which is to compare price to average variable cost. 
price is here, average variable cost is here. At this point, which is the only one we care about, price is bigger than average variable cost, it passes the shutdown rule. That is where we're going to want to produce, and so that will get a red dot. There is another price level which I'm going to leave for further discussion. That's this the price this price level here. We'll talk about that in the next video, not in this video. Uh, other than that one, you can see a clear pattern. So if I connect the red dots. I've got this, and then this. And this relationship actually has a name. The supply curve. This is finally a supply curve. And the reason it's a supply curve is because it tells us at any given price, PA, PB, PC, and so forth, what quantity is going to be produced. We can summarize this conclusion in the following way. For this competitive firm, for short run type 2 behavior, sorry, so it's competition, short run, type 2. But it turns out the conclusion is going to hold in general. For any competitive situation. The supply curve is a marginal cost curve above the bottom of average variable cost. This is a a general result that's true not just for short run type 2. In fact, I'll erase this here. It's actually true for any example where you have competition, which is all the examples that we're going to study in this chapter. Let's think about again what that means. The supply curve is the marginal cost curve above the bottom of average variable cost. Because if you Look at where the marginal cost curve is on the graph and where the AVC curve is. See, the AVC curve is U-shaped, so it has a bottom. And above that bottom, the supply curve is following the marginal cost curve. Below that bottom, the supply curve is equal to zero. So this really is the general result. The supply curve is the marginal cost curve above the bottom of average variable cost. Okay, we'll do things like this in other examples, but I'll do it more quickly than I did here. I'm in the next example, I'm going to study this price level, so it's going to be pretty brief, but there's some algebra involved.